Jam board files are referred to as jams. Within a jam, you have multiple frames. Frames are the slides. To add a frame, come to the center of the screen up at the top and hit the arrow that goes towards the right. This will add an additional frame to your jam. You can change the background of a frame by selecting Set Background on the toolbar at the top. You'll notice that you have several options, including dots, lines, grid marks on both white and gray, a solid blue, or a solid black background. You also have the option to upload your own image. Images can be saved on your computer, can be taken with your laptop or Chromebook camera, you can search Google for something, or of course find something in Google Drive or your Google Photos. You'll notice that when you go in and do a search, and you pull an image into your Jamboard, that this then locks the image in place. This means students will not be able to move it, uh, the image around. This is ideal for then having students use the pen tool to annotate over top of the object. This works really well for graphic organizers, maps, charts, and even more. You can also navigate the frames in your jam by using the arrows up here up at the top. If you select the down arrow directly underneath where it gives you the number of frames in your jam, you will be able to go ahead and manipulate and go back and forth between slides. You can add additional frames in between, or if you mouse over to the uh, right-hand corner of a frame, you'll have the three dots that always mean more. If you select this option, it'll allow you to duplicate a frame or delete the frame. Frames can have different backgrounds. To change the background, come to your toolbar where it says background. You have options for a plain white background, dots, lines, grids on both a white background and gray background, as well as a solid blue and a solid black. Consider changing your background based on the activity that you want your students to do.